Welcome to Around the House, sponsored by Romac Building Supply. I'm your host, Don Magruder. In this segment Around the House, my subject is how to find, match, and select custom wood moldings. Many builders today are cutting corners to make their homes more affordable by eliminating moldings. However, after closings, the homeowners want these moldings in their home. Plus, if you buy an older home, you may have to match older moldings to do any remodels or additions. Today, I have a true expert in the studio. I have Chuck Shoup. He's the manager of the Romat Building Supply Custom Door Mill Workshop in historic downtown Leesburg, and we're going to give you all the information you need to know about custom wood moldings. So with that, I'd like to introduce Chuck Shoup, the manager of the Romac Custom Door Mill Workshop. Hello, Chuck. How are you doing today? Doing well, Don. Thank you. Chuck, take a few moments to tell us about yourself and the Romac Custom Door Mill Workshop. Well, Don, I've been with Romac 21 years now. I come from a family of cabinet makers. And the door plant, when I first started there, we did pre-hung doors for interior and exterior, both residential and light commercial. We have since, in the last couple years, have expanded to the custom molding program that we'll be talking about today. Chuck, where is your door plant facility located? And how can someone reach you if they have an interest in, in any custom moldings or millwork? The uh, plant is, sits at 700 East Main Street. It's right next to the uh, Leesburg Lumberyard and uh, right across the street from the uh, parking garage at the hospital. <clears throat> and two numbers I'll give you. Uh, one is my cell number, which is 352. 2671462 and then the office has a direct line which is 3523143169 and let's go through the services you provide in the custom door mill workshop because i think it's important people understand you're not just doing moldings in in the shop that is correct don we um, the mainstay of our business is pre-hung doors both interior and exterior uh, of your home um, we also build pocket frames, which is, uh, I believe, one of the finest around. That's the frame that carries the door when it disappears into the wall, so you don't have a swinging door. And we also make some of the custom doors, um, odd sizes, yep. uh, different designs, uh, things like that, that, that is totally separate from the millwork part that, or the molding part that we'll be talking about today. And you serve as homeowners, builders, remodelers, and subcontractors, correct? That's absolutely correct, yes sir. Now one of the newer services you have going on in uh, the Romac Custom Door Mill Workshop is custom wood moldings. Uh, first off, how did you get in the business? Well, early on we had some of our salespeople wanting to sell small quantities of custom moldings for their customers, so we bought a little molder that was a very entry level. Yeah. We decided we were going to step it up a bit and we bought a much larger molder, but during that time we were waiting to get that set up and running, we had the advantage of being able to purchase from Walker Brothers, which is a well-established millwork shop out of Winter Garden, started in 1947. That they're known statewide. Statewide, a lot yep. of their stuff is A lot spec. of commercial projects. Yes, sir. Uh, we were able, because they're closing, the owners retired, we were able to purchase their stock molding uh, catalog, which means the tooling and, and the rights to use that, their logo, their website. So it gave us a jump start on our project getting going. Tell me why are homeowners and builders buying custom wood moldings? I think it's to distinguish their house a little bit from the run of the mill. Um, just this week we had a gentleman come in that had custom base put in his home, a large base. And over the years, the moisture in the house has made that twist. Oh, where really? You cannot straighten that back out. You can't renail it to the wall. So we're pr producing for him about 12, 14 feet because he cannot get that molding to lay back against the wall. Since it originally was a custom molding, he's ha kind of has to follow suit and go back to a custom molding. It sounds also like the molding wasn't properly dried either. The wood might have been a little damp, and we don't know. He's a, he's a second owner, at oh, yeah. least, and he doesn't know the conditions of the home during that time. All right, let's go through the process of okay. custom wood moldings. Someone gives you a call at the Romac Custom Door Mill Workshop. They're going to call you at what number? 352-314-3169. And say they're wanting to match up a custom wood molding in a, in a historic home. 
Okay. What happens? In a historic home, there's two ways of doing it. Hopefully, they're taking some down that they're replacing and they can bring us a sample. From that sample, we can make a drawing to create a template, and then from that template, create the knives that will cut the molding. Sometimes there's so, so the first thing you got to do is create something that looks like the actual profile of the mold, and that's what you're calling the template. That's the template, yes, sir. Okay, and from that template, you're going to cut wood or metal knives out of that. That's correct. It's okay. The machine looks somewhat like if you ever had a key cut. Okay. You put the key in one side, in this case, we could put a template in one side, and there's a stylus that follows that. And then there's a grinding wheel, and when you follow that, it'll actually take the steel and, and cut the same profile into it. So you cut these, you do this template, you cut the knives. Now, do you cut, do people have to bring the molding to you, or can you do it off a piece of paper? Or I, I, I suspect faxing it or emailing it could be a problem because of actual size. And how, how do you get a hold over that hoop? What we do is we take it to our copy machine at Romac, yep. and we can size it up or size it down. Um, if someone sends a drawing in, it does have to be dimensioned, and then once we blow it up or shrink it to match those dimensions, then we know the whole thing's proportional. But the optimum, the optimum way is get a little sample of the mold, that's, correct? That's correct. Uh, what's the, how long does the process take? If someone called you today and to it ends, how long, what's the time period generally? Well, we're trying to work on seven to ten business wow. days, which is wow, that's fairly short, but absolutely. we have two, two perfectly great molding operators. They're so experienced between the two of them, about 75 years worth of experience. And uh, they know both can do the entire process. So if one is running some molding, we can have the other one grinding knives. So. Okay, and does it matter what type of wood, whether it's pine or mahogany or cherry? Can no. you, what, what, what's your limitations on wood? Basically, we're limited to whatever we can get and we can even get some tropical exotics and stuff like that. We may have to go outside of our normal suppliers, but we can get probably anything someone has a desire to, to buy. Now, I know you brought some things for us to see, mm -hmm. so we're gonna take a few minutes and go to the Romac Building Supply Show and Tell Desk, and we're gonna see some of these pieces of the parts you just described. I think once you see what's going on, it'll make a little more sense on how we get from the the uh, drawing or the piece of molding to the actual finished product. Stay tuned and we'll uh, be at the Romac show and tell desk in just a moment. I'm with Chuck Shoot from the Romac Building Supply Custom Door Mill Workshop and we're at the show and tell desk and we're about to look at some of these beautiful custom moldings that you've done now. First off Chuck, this looks like a piece of styrofoam molding. Tell me about this one. This is a piece of foam molding. It came out of a um, hotel in Charlotte, North Carolina. They wanted to reproduce this, you can see the odd profile to it, in wood. Okay. So they gave us this piece. Okay. We created a template. If you look, it'll match that exactly. And from this template, then what we do is we create the knife like we spoke about before on the grinder. And then once we have these steel knives produced, they go into a head that spins about 6,000 RPMs. And when it does that, obviously it will shave. If you look, this is the, the actual uh, sample of the wood. And that's in poplar. That's in poplar, it's all paint grade. And if you look, it will match that exactly. And if you'll pick that up, Don, you'll see that those two match exactly. This Absolutely. was shipped to... Um, so this was produced in Leesburg and shipped to Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now this looks like mahogany to me, that, that and it looks it, it looks like a casing. Am I correct in this that? This is baby howl casing. Baby, baby howl case. casing mm -hmm. is very popular in paint grade, but you cannot buy it in any other species. Really? So if someone wants another species, there again we do the same process. We create the template that matches the. Um, if you see, it matches that and then we produce the knives. The advantage is that if you were doing a house, doing mahogany, doing oak, doing hickory, whatever, then we can match that profile that may match the rest of the stuff in your house, but in a hardwood that's sustainable. That's beautiful. That, that would stand out so pretty. And this looks like an oak, is that oak? That is, and if you, know, you may recognize the profile, that's regular uh, colonial casing right. that's in every, everybody's house in a paint grade. But there again, if you're doing a library or a study that's in hardwood, 
you may want to have that matching. And then this looks like a large cove and cherry. That is correct. Hey, I'm getting my, that's a nice mode. And then this is a large. That's actually in pine, it's, it's aged a little bit, but many people in this area, this was called Pickwick paneling. Okay, yeah. The, and this width here can vary. Some places it was uh, four inches, five inches, six inches. This is old school paneling that used to go up and people stained it and you, I think. Stained it, so they painted it. But if you're remodeling, you gotta you, have you have to have it, and we can match the different widths. And this profile matches exactly to the bulk of the stuff that was used in this area um, years ago. So you're really not limited by the size or scope of the material in most instances, correct? Correct. Uh, we do. The, the only limitation we have on our molder does nine and a quarter inches wide. Yep. Beyond that, we can't do it in house. We can have it done, but we can't do it in house. But that's a big piece of molding. Why are you seeing more people do historic moldings? Are they just tired of the plain old small skinny patterns? Because like everything else in society, moldings have gotten thinner and cheaper looking. I, mean, right. I hate to say it about our own industry, but. Well, yeah, they've skimped on them. But you know, the regular off the shelf stuff that you go into most lumber yards in Florida is gonna be paint grade. And if you're doing a library or a study where you're doing hardwoods, you know, if you're doing a mahogany library you don't want paint grade molding in there so that's why people would want to come in and have it made in the wood that they would uh, match up to their now project. the expense of moldings is having this 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 cut yes sir the blades cut and i understand uh, how much does it cost to have a typical set of blades cut twenty dollars per inch twenty per and inch. then it takes two knives if you notice all okay. our sets here there's two knives and both of them go in the same head and rotate. So that could be eight inches. So it might cost $160 to do the knives. But I guess what I'm trying to say is the more footage you have to do in the moldings, the lower the price goes down. That is correct. Both for setup, there's only a, uh, there's a, a fixed setup amount and there's a fixed knife charge. I know, I know you were telling me, off, I know you were telling me off there, you did some molding on a pool table. Yeah and it was expensive, but it was a one-time match you had to match. One-time match, and it corrected a very expensive pool table that a dog chewed up. Well, this is a wonderful service that's being offered at the Romac Building Supply Custom Door Mill Workshop, and uh, it's, it can solve a lot of problems. Thank you, Chuck Shoot, for being my guest today. Until next time, we will see you around the house.